Hey everybody, Bungzi here with another ultralight review on ultralight backpacking. This is my last planned installment in my water filter series. I hope you've found them helpful so far. In my last water video, I walked you through my preferred filter setup, which is built around a Sawyer filter. I recommend watching that video first uh, for a walkthrough of all the components of my water kit, as well as my filtering hacks. Today though, we're comparing my preferred setup to the newer kid, uh, cool kid on the block, the Katahdin B Free. Right here. I actually have used the B Free quite a bit and I see its appeal, but I'm here today to break down why I think my Sawyer setup is the smarter move. So let's jump in. I'm gonna compare the two setups across a few key factors. Namely, the weight of the overall system, not just the weight of the filter itself, the speed of the overall system, and then the reliability of the overall system, taking into account all the components, not just the filter itself. And lastly, we'll take a look at cross-contamination risk of one system compared to the other. Let's start with weight as it's a good opportunity to recap the components. Again, watch my preferred water system video for a proper walkthrough of the components. Okay, let's start with my Sawyer setup. Um, the first part component obviously is the filter itself. In this case, it's the micro filter at 2.01 ounces. I then have a one liter smart water bottle with a flip cap at 1.44 ounces, the smaller bottle at 1.05 ounces, a backup smart water cap at 0.01 ounce or less, uh, a fat gasket at also less than 0.01 ounces. I then have a Sawyer coupler, which weighs 0.14 ounces. I carry a two liter Evernew bladder at 1.51 ounces, a scoop at 0.52 ounces. And that puts the whole kit at 6.69 ounces. My recommended be free setup has the same components except for the filter, obviously not needing a backup gasket, and not having the option of a coupler, as well as being locked into using their proprietary bladders, which are made by the company Hydropack. More on that to follow. So what's the bottom line on weight? The Sawyer kit, again, weighs 6.69 ounces all in, and the comparable Be Free kit weighs 7.45 ounces or 0.76 ounces more. While the Sawyer system is lighter, most of us would say weight isn't a major factor here, factor here, but I'll leave that call to you. Let's now move on to the more interesting factors in my opinion. Next up is filter speed. Most folks reduce filter speed conversations to talking about flow rate. For those not familiar with the term, in plain English, it is a measure of how quickly the clean water comes out the other end. Now, in my opinion, reducing speed conversations to flow rate is wrong, wrong, wrong. Yes, no doubt, a fresh be free straight out of the box has a faster flow rate than the Sawyer, it's a fact. But flow rate is only a part of it, a part of calculating the overall speed. You're much better off taking into account the entire filtering exercise from bending down to collect the water Till the moment you are back on the trail and drinking water and your pack's on your back. It's your trail experience that counts, not the speed of the filter standing at your kitchen sink. Now, there are two filtering use cases to consider when talking about overall filtering speed. They are night and day different from each other. The first use case has you filtering on the go as you drink, while the other has you filtering all your water at the time you collect it before getting back on the trail. I've mentioned this in past videos, but filtering on the go can easily put you in camp 30 minutes earlier or more over the course of a full day. Think about the entire exercise. If you are filtering on the go, you arguably don't even need to remove your pack. You just bend down, fill your empties, reattach your filter, and then you're off you filter the water as you drink. Now, gaining an extra 30 minutes to an hour either matters to you or it doesn't. If you're covering shorter miles and taking breaks anyways, then it may not matter at all. 
That being said, your choice in filters pretty much dictates whether filtering on the go is even an option. With the Sawyer setup, filtering on the go is an option. With Be Free, it's impractical and not really an option. You see, the Be Free filter requires a wide opening that can only be found in their soft bladders. Can you drink directly from the bladder? Of course, but getting an amorphous floppy bladder in and out of your side pack pocket, it's pretty difficult. I've tried this for a couple trips. It's frustrating, trust me. Plus, more importantly, I'm convinced that the bladders aren't made for this kind of manhandling all day long. Mine sprung a leak. This is a replacement. So the Sawyer system gives you the benefit of filtering on the go. So the overall speed of the Sawyer system is much faster than the Be Free system. Now let's move on to talking about reliability. Again, let's address the entire system, not just the filter itself. Both filters, in my opinion, are reliable, but the other components in the system need to be part of the conversation as well. With the Sawyer, you have the option of filling and filtering from your bladder or any of your drinking bottles. You have backup on top of backup on top of back backup, literally. You can also um, find additional bottles should you need them um, at any store or for that matter, trash can. Disposable water bottles are pretty much universal, or their threads are universal, and all work with the Sawyers. With Be Free, the wider filter only fits its uh, wide open bladder. You're locked into always and only collecting with your bladder. What happens if your soft bladder springs a leak? It did for me. At best, you're in for a wet backpack and more frequent water stops at worst, you have a much more serious problem. Again, I've had a hydropack bladder spring a leak with a B-free filter. This isn't a hypothetical concern. A solution to this, sorta, is packing a backup hydropack bladder and hoping it too doesn't spring a leak. And if you pack a backup, the Sawyer system definitely then gains the weight advantage. Now, it is worth pointing out though, that if you are filling and filtering from your bladder, as opposed to filling your bottles, the HydroPack bladder is much easier and faster because it has a much wider opening to get the water in and is far more three-dimensional in design. And lastly, it has these attachment points which make it much easier to swing and scoop up water. Um, but again, this is only part of the overall equation. So personally, I would give the Sawyer the win on reliability. There is way more redundancy with that system. Now let's talk cross-contamination, a hugely overlooked factor in my opinion. And just like the above factors, contamination risk is bigger than just looking at the measure on the packaging on how effective their filter membranes are. You need to take into account the entire system. Your dirty bag will have unfiltered and potentially contaminated water dripping off its exterior from gathering water. It's a fact, it's unavoidable, obvious point. So when you invert it to filter the water, you run the risk of having unfiltered water drip down the exterior and into your clean bottle. And what this all comes down to is this 0.14 ounce of simple little plastic. This is the Sawyer coupler. Besides helping you back flush a clogged filter, this coupler allows you to create a watertight seal between your dirty bag, um, the filter, and your clean bottle. You virtually eliminate the risk of cross-contamination. Without a coupler, you have to do that pogo stick dance where you try to hold the clean bottle between your feet while trying to squirt the water in um, without loosening too much water or throwing out your back. And on a side note, there are also your filthy hands. Many believe you stand a greater risk of digesting bacteria through your dirty hands than anything else. Don't forget that your hands were in the unfiltered water as well. And now you're using them to hold the clean bottle in place. There is no coupler available for the Be Free. The Sawyer coupler doesn't quite fit its threads, I've tried. So edge to Sawyer on reducing cross-contamination, in my opinion. 
So to summing it all up, I get why people like the B-Free. There is no question it has the faster flow rate, but that is not, the, not to imply that the Sawyer is too slow, it's fine. And when you take into account the entire system and process, the Sawyer system is lighter, it's faster, it's more reliable, and lastly, it's more effective at minimizing cross-contamination risk. Well, that's all the time I need. I hope I gave you something to think about. If you happen to need a new filter, do me a favor and use the affiliate links in my video description. They won't cost you a penny extra. And of course, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already by clicking the Bungsy logo. And I'll catch you on my next ultralight review on ultralight backpacking. See ya.